These are some Dinar Guru updates, starting off with Mark Z via PDK. I'm still being told the process is going, the process is working, and I cannot find anybody who thinks it will go as long as 2024. So please quit worrying about that. Hennig, quote, the dollar has gone down. The dollar has gone down. Cheers from the audience as Al Sudani entered the Basra Stadium. Another quote, the audience chanted, download the dollar, download the dollar, unquote, in the dialect. In my opinion from Hennig, very poor translation in the headline there. It's not past tense, as the headline wants to show. They're calling for the dollar to be devalued. Frank 26, Iraq Boots on the Ground Report, Firefly. The CBI came out and spoke because everyone is pointing fingers at the CBI. All they keep saying is the rise is for a reason. It's for the new electronic platforms that were in place to make sure that the dollar reached the one who needed it, and not through other means illegally. This is absolutely new. Streets are beginning to now start take, talking about how CBI is hurting everyday citizens. Frank says, I don't blame you that you went to the CBI and you protested. The platforms that they're talking to you about where the dinar is going to float, there's nothing wrong with you as a citizen to put pressure on the CBI. All right, Militiaman says they're about to make a change and it's expected not only by the citizens, but also by ministries. They're all expecting something to happen from the CBI. All right, Mark Zevia, PDK, I'm still hearing nothing negative, but it's still quiet on the RV front. We had a flurry of information last week, and now we seem to be in a lull. I assume it's because of the NDAs that went out, and I'm not panicking. I'm definitely not thinking it's delayed to 2024. None of my contacts think it will go in 2024. Right, Claire article quote, the Wall Street Journal reveals the scenes of the Fed's tightening of the dollar in Iraq. Quote, the Federal Reserve Bank in New York began imposing stricter controls on international transactions of dollars by Iraqi commercial banks in November 2022 in a step to reduce money laundering and illegal seizure of dollars that go to Iran and other countries in the Middle East that are subject to severe sanctions. Claire goes on to say, article number two, the Iraq Economy reels as U.S. moves against money flows to Iran, WSJ. Quote, Iraqi banks had operated under less stringent rules since shortly after 2003 U.S. invasion that toppled Saddam Hussein. Almost two decades later, American and Iraqi officials said they had decided it was time to bring Iraq's banking system into compliance with global money transfer practices. Frank 26, article for the first time, $100 jumps over 165,000 dinars in Iraq, unquote. Frank 26 says the USD exchange rate will fluctuate until the IQD floats internationally. Caparini says, I remind people Iraq currently has over 100 trillion dinar in circulation. There is no possible way that can ever significantly RV the Iraqi dinar unless... They gradually remove the currency in circulation first. Bruce via Weiser now says the so-called super whales, wow, that's got to be a big player, started being paid out and given access to funds. Wednesday, and it's continuing now. The good news is we don't have to wait on the super whales to be paid out. We could start exchanges possibly as early as Friday or Saturday. Things are looking very strong for us right now. I am excited because I think we're finally coming down the home stretch and we're getting ready to let her fly. Pimpy says the truth of the matter is I have no idea how much Iraqi currency is in circulation. I've read articles talking about for five or six years, Iraq was spending somewhere in the neighborhood of a billion dollars, buying the dinars back and destroying them. A soldier was telling his friend that when he was in Iraq, he had to log in their currencies as they destroyed it. As soon as he said that, I asked him, he said, you're talking about the new dinar, the dinars of today? And he said, yeah. I said, did they say where they were destroying them? Or I'm sorry, did they say why they were destroying them? He didn't know why, but their job was to protect the currency. And so he had to log in a list of serial numbers and they were destroying it. He said they destroyed a ton of it, even though it says there's 157 trillion dinars that are in circulation. How many of them are actually in circulation? That's one question I have. I know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. Iraq was trying really hard to figure out what it is 
and is not in the hands of speculators and how many dinars are actually out there. Mark Z of V of PDK, please treat as rumor, rumors as they are clouding things on purpose. A contact in Iraq gave me a rate. Somebody else gave me a heads up from one of their Scandinavian bankers told them on Iraq and the possibility of a near rate. I am being told they are pushing hard for a full RV reset, but that Iraq is prepared again if the reset is stalled to release the near. The latest value I am hearing from three different sources is $1.66 if they pull a near, which is the nominal effective exchange rate. I am hearing this from two different European contacts and someone in Iraq. Their comments about near today gave me warm fuzzies to know something is going to move forward no matter what. My contact over there still says they have zero expect I'm sorry, they have every expectation of it going by the 31st. Frank 26 question uh, is a currency book how banks in the United States are going to check for counterfeit bills, or should we find a bank with some sort of machine? Frank says some will send them off to a mother bank if it's a small bank, and that's why I encourage you to go to a big bank. Some of them might use just the currency book, and that would probably be the smaller banks. You just don't want to lose sight of your dinars wherever you go. If you give them, they better give you the equivalent in American money. Don't let them take your dinars. And lastly, Mark Z via PDK, boom, literally the morning that Kuwait changed their value, they published an article saying, bare minimum, they were six to nine months away from a revaluation. Then, within a few hours, they had a new rate, floated all the way to about $9.88, and then settled back down to where it is now. 